What is up, my long arm bastards? It's your boy, the Average Berg Holio, and today we're gonna go over the patch notes for the seventh DLC to come out for Xenoverse 2, Extra Pack 3, and boy, did they buff and nerf a ton of different moves, and they may have buffed a certain Namekian move that may have been a favorite of mine, so let's without further ado, let's get into it, boys. Alright, so as soon as I figured out they released patch notes, I did a, bit, a little bit of research, not much research on my part, but I figured out, I found a uh, nice, uh, this is the, pretty much the first translation I found, translated the original Japanese into English, now we can look at the moves, and this is the first time I've really seen the list, I've looked over them briefly just so I have an idea before I start looking at them, and pretty much I'm just going to gloss over the ones I don't notice, and I'm pretty much going to only look at the ones that are interesting to me, uh, so I'll, I'll leave this up for a little bit, as you can see now, so you guys can pretty much see, uh, I'll, I'll leave a link to where I found this so you guys can go see afterwards so you don't gotta pause the video or whatnot to see me uh, look at the moves you want to see and over my uh, ramblings but for other do we're a little, little, little words but pretty much the first one I see uh, it seems like a uh, recharged key wave additional inputs return less stamina and there's no injuries and this no inputs excuse me no longer cause key now that might make it a, a rival to rise to action because rise to action was pretty much the previous I need stamina move but as you can scroll down there, you'll see Rise to Action has actually received a nerf. Because it says right there, reduces stamina restored and decreased recovery frames. Now that means it takes longer to get out of the move and it and it, inc uh, it it no longer gives you as much stamina as it used to. Now up to Rebellion Spear, they, they slightly decreased the amount of damage it did and the stamina consumption rate. So they kind of tweaked a little bit. I think it was fine how it was. But that's how it is now. Oh, got a tap right there to keep the screen from going dim. Whatever, guys. Pretty much this is what the list is. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. I never really used this move. And now I think I might because they gave a little buff. Rock damage increased. Increased the reach of rock. Adjusted connectivity of rock from paper. And that's kind of cool because I remember I did use the move once and it really never connected. That's why I never used it. But now it might work, so I'm going to have to try that out. Um, Evil Whirlwind. I feel like this is going to be a move people are going to use. This was a... A powerful move in Xenoverse 1, it kind of died off in Xenoverse 2 because it wasn't nearly as powerful, but it has received a buff. As you can see, it says right there, hit confirm range increased, made it unblockable, and made the hit confirm faster if it's deployed while guarding. Now that's going to be interesting, because I it already moved pretty fast, but now if it can hit a uh, wider range and it can go out a lot faster while you're guarding, it's going to be a good move. Um, wall of Defense. Now this is exciting. No one's going to, I feel like most people would scroll over this, but I'm excited about this, because this will be fun in 2v2s, 3v3s, and whatnot. But it says now it's modified so you don't take damage until just before the end of the move. And it reduced the recovery frames. Now, here's the thing. That means that you're pretty much, you're a shield for longer, that you won't be damaged. But when the move is over, you're going to be wide open. But I think that's how it should be. You can be a shield for your friend, but at the end of it, he can hit hurt you. Which is how it should be. Uh, but I kind of like the fact that they made it so you don't take damage until after it. Because before you were sitting there just kind of eating damage, which was kind of a cool idea. But now you don't take damage. So now it's actually a move that has purpose. And I can't wait to see how people uh, do that in the game. So I'm sure those people are going to be out there more clever and make more videos in a more frequent manner than me. Can, that's what I'm excited about. I'm going to take a pause from this. But i got to continue. i got to go faster because we're, we're taking way too long on this first first slide. But uh, basically, oh, I'm so excited. I want to go over all of these. I want to go take a long time. But I don't want to make too long a video. But here we go. Evil. Oh, no. I did that one. Uh, Namek Finger. Of course, that's the one i got to go to right now because that's the one I was most excited to see. Uh... Nemic Fingers has improved the tracking and sped up collision detection. Now, I've already tried to use this move to, and tested it out, and oh my god, it is 100% way better move. It fires out way quicker, and it almost seems like you don't get punished as much. It's definitely a nice buff for a Namek Nem Namekian only move, and I'm excited to hear about that. Gorgeous shot made it easier to hit with. That's going to be cool, because that was a fun move. It, really, it was a really flashy move, too. I'm glad that they're buffing all these flashy moves. Now, again, to rise to, to rise to action to reduce the stamina sword, it got a it got a it got a nerf. I'm gonna be interested to see how nerf it is, because I kind of like the fact that there's no longer a move that can give you stamina. I don't know. That's just my opinion. You might you got a lot of people enjoy that move, and I get it. It, it, it can make a lot of cool builds. Um, Giga boost. Now, this is a move I never used either, and it says it increased movement speed, changed it so you can stop moving with a button. Uh, depending how fast the move is, I, I'm not sure how well it'll be. 
And here's the really sad part. And you can see here, I'm going to scroll in so you can't miss it, or a slide. Now, it got a nerf, but not a nerf in the smart sense. No, they didn't nerf this in an intelligent way. They just decreased the damage of each hit. Which is like, oh, cool. You nerfed the one thing we didn't care about. No one cared about the damage. I mean, yeah, it did a lot of damage. But you know what we cared about? The fact that it could just eat through anything. The invincibility frames. That's what we wanted to get rid of. Make it a, a move that could not slice through everything. But maybe that's the point. Maybe they wanted it to be like that. So maybe, 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 maybe they didn't nerf it on purpose. Um, time skip, flash skewer, damage increased. I've tested this. Doesn't really increase the damage that much. Um, it doesn't. It, eh, that's not true. Um, that's not true because I have a Namekian with no stats in strike. Um, I've seen another. Actually, now that I remember, yeah, it does. It did, did increase the damage a lot. If you have a bunch of, bunch of points in that stat, I remember seeing uh, the Phoenix's channel and uh, he tested it out. It did do a lot more damage. But uh, yeah, all right, that's the first page. That's just the first page, my boys. So we gotta check out the second one. Alright, so on the second one, uh, I'm noticing time control. Now, time control was a move that I used to mess around with back in the day, and it pretty much stuns the enemy. And now it's got a buff because it makes the stun last a little bit longer. I know his evil flame there has got an increase in damage. I like that. Now, Atomic Blast is an interesting one, too, because I feel like I'm not aware of a trick that's supposed to be used to do this, but it says damage increased when fire on the ground and increased ease of firing for max damage, implying there's a way to do max damage. I'm going to have to mess around with that, because, again, it sounds like something I'd be interested in, because it's just a cool move, but it never did a lot of damage. But maybe I just wasn't doing it right. Um, let me scroll through here. Crusher Ball. Damage increased, tracking improved. Definitely gonna use that. I love that move. The fact that they increase the damage and the tracking makes me even happier. Saucer Blade. Awesome move. Looks really cool. Uh, area, uh, attack area is increased. So it has a wider range of attack, which is great, because it was kind of a slicing sideways move, but it would always just kind of have like a pinpoint accuracy. I'm gonna try that move as well. Ginyu 4 Special Combo has been a favorite move of mine forever, and it says, made the left input very higher priority, increased the reach for the next input made, and made it easier to combo into a dash. Okay, that's kind of cool. Just made it a just generally better move. Pulse Time Shock. Increase the amount of damage you did to yourself. That's, that makes sense. That's pretty much the only point that move has. Uh, Death Psycho Bomb. Freeze move. Uh, damage increased. I've used it, and I really can't tell you if it's good, because again, my Namekian doesn't have much points in key blast supers. It does look like it almost doubled the damage, so it pretty much did nothing before, so it might actually do a decent chunk of damage. That's kind of cool. Drain Field, interesting one. Uh, modified so it can absorb ultimate attacks. That's pretty cool. I can't wait to test that out. Crazy Finger Shot. Decrease, uh, damage increase, excuse me, and makes the opponent stagger after hit. Uh, I've used this. One of my favorite moves to use because it's kind of a troll attack because you can kind of use it without using any key if you just pop the first one out and don't finish the attack. Uh, little known fact. But the fact that it stuns now means I can just kind of poke people with it and go in for attack now. It is a uh, significantly better move. Significantly better move. Um, angry hit, one of Dam One's favorite moves. Uh, it's uh, improved the hit's connection speed, made it easier to combo in after being knocked away. That's kind of cool. It made that move a lot better. Ah, uh, he's gonna be excited about that. I'm not, because that's one of his favorite moves. I'm about to figure out how to beat it now. Explosive Boo Boo Punch. Now I've used this on Majin Boo, and I don't know if I'm crazy. Or this is what the move is now, but it seems like it has super armor while the punches are going out. I noticed before, sometimes I get punched while the punches are going out, and it would kind of stagger me, and the move would be interrupted. But now it kind of seems like it has super armor. I might be wrong, but what it says here is it modified it so that there is no pause until the move hits, which might be the super armor I'm indicating, but the translation is kind of wonky. And it made the time frozen shorter, and that's kind of like the delay. So it might be a wonky translation, but I think it might have super armor now. Go, go, go. Interesting, because it's a broken broken move at one point before it got nerfed. Speed increased. Increased the amount of time that the enemy cannot move. That's scary, but wait. They modified it so you cannot damage your opponent when trapped. Boom. That move is now a stun move. It is pretty much a move you hit somebody with so you can throw off a pose. That's what the move should have been. That's that's a, that's a brilliant nerf. That's I think that's I think that's good. I think... The only people that are going to be disappointed in that are Super Itachi. Ooh, Secret Burn. No, go check out the channel. He's great. Uh, if, if you're a child, you're going to hate him. If you're a guy that loves satire, ho oh, ho, he's the man for you. Now, Ill Bomber, this is a move I used to leave in my Majin before I stopped using him, or her, but it says now increase damage and made it so it cancels guard. Now, that's awesome, because that was pretty much a great move, but you could always just block it, because you could see it coming from a mile away. Now you can pretty much hit him with it unless they run away, which is good, because that's what the move's supposed to do. Give you, like, a 
uh, way to back your opponent away so you can do stuff. Which helps with the Majin, especially with the male, because they have some stamina issues. But, uh, um, Quick Sleep is here, and this is going to be important later when we discuss the Majin transformation, but now it has reduced recovery frames, which pretty much means that it, it you pretty much, after you use the move, you're going to be, st like, not stun locked, but that you're going to have a little bit more time to, you're going to need a little bit more time to react. Um, Galactic Donuts, and this is good because this move is very spammable. Additional inputs will make the blast travel slower. This is great, and if you've seen one of my videos where Sean and uh, Nightmare uh, used uh, uh, a spamming of Galactic Donuts to uh, destroy us, this will be great for anyone who's got two of those dickheads on you down. Burst attack, damage increased, tracking improved. That's great because it had no tracking to begin with. Now it might actually be a viable move. Alright, now we gotta move to the second one. This is taking forever. This is gonna be a long video, <laughs> and I don't even care. Yeah, this video is already extremely way longer than I ever wanted it to, so I'm gonna try to fly through the rest of this video. Holy hell. Um, looks like Burst Reflection made it so there is no pause when your shield is up. That's, um, I think Janemba's move, and it was always pretty much a pretty much useless move. I hope that makes it so it's usable. I really do. Dynamite Kick decreased the maximum charge time, which may mean decreased damage. Also, change the camera's angle. That's, I don't know what that means, but that's going to be fun. Present for you, damage increased, health recovery increased. Trolling, classic Ruben, looking at you. That moves all for you, my friend. Meteor Crash, I've tested this one. It's great. Now it is modified. Oh, excuse me. So it sends your opponents flying after the move. So you knew you do all those flurry of punches. The last punch sends them flying, so they can't just, uh, pretty much, after you're done punching them, they stare you in the face and then continue a combo on you. That makes Meteor Crash such a more viable move. Uh, let me see. Look, an Emperor's Blast increased the damage. Holy hell, this move does a lot of damage now. Also, it flies out way faster. As you can see, it says, increase the damage, modify so there is no pause after you do fire the attack. That just, that's, it fires out so much faster. I've tested it, and a friend of mine have tested it, and it's, it's fast. That is 100%. It's almost to the point where... You, if, if you're a key blast character, you might as well equip this and just never use your back hit. That's, it's very fast. Uh, Kill Driver, one of my favorite moves, tracking improved, which is crazy because it already had great tracking. Can't wait to test that out. Um, what else we got? Dragon Fist. Now, Dragon Fist has been modified a lot of times. It's always a very overpowered move. Last time it got a nerf, uh, which made it, you know, a little more viable and less cheap. But now, it seems they modify it so you can't Z-Vanish or counter out of the attack. I wasn't aware you could Z-Vanish. Um, I was also not aware you could counter, but that makes sense. But now you can't do either, making it uh, back on top as one of the best uh, ultimates. Um, what else we got? What else we got? Elegant Blaster increased the beam speed and tracking, modified so you can't be locked onto when you disappear. Yes, that was such a great move, but it was just limited by the fact that you were just like, oh, I can't see him. Click. Oh, there he is. It kind of defeated the purpose. Now, I bet they can't see it till the beam's coming out. That might be a useful move now. I can't wait. That's one of my favorite moves. Gonna try that one out. Uh, Darkness Rush, uh, close and range. Modified so the enemy can't counter the move. Didn't know that they could do that, but now you can't. Um, times get Molotov. Damage increased. No, he <laughs> Yes, we've been we've been asking for that for a long time. A uh, fucking five bars of key ultimate should not do that little damage. That's that's amazing. Brave sword attack damage increased, easier to hit with. Easier to hit with is the key there because that was a great move, looked cool, but it would just never hit unless you could. They were knocked back or in some weird way or they were broken, uh, and let, or you were really good and not me and bad. God of destruction menace. God of destruction's menace. Excuse me. That is Champa's move. That's the move where he tosses the balls around, I believe. And if they made that, well, what they says is damage increased, which is, oh, thank God, because it was such a use, useless move. It was cool because it, like, hit him a bunch of times, but it didn't do any damage. But it also made it easier to hit uh, consecutive hits now. So now it does more damage, and it's easier to hit with. So that might be a viable move now. That's cool. They're, they seem to be making useless moves in a competitive sense now viable. You know, that's that's cool. I can't wait to use all these moves. Uh, what else we got? Uh, final shot attack, final explosion. You're a little careful with that, so we can move on to the next one. <laughs> Alright, last but not least, the final page which has a lot of ultimates on it. And uh, the first one, I'm very excited about. Blue Hurricane increased the range of attack and made it easier to hit multiple times. As you remember from the universe one, that was a fantastic move. And then the second one, it was just nerfed into the ground, almost useless. It was a joke, a joke ultimate. It didn't really, it didn't really function at all. 
maybe now it'll be viable. And I keep saying that, but I'm just excited for all these broken ultimates and moves now maybe be useful. All right, Crusher Volcano, I have this equipped that I haven't got a chance to test it. It says it has better tracking. It's more Australian. I don't know if that's just the translator's little joke. That's funny. If they put that in the actual patch notes, fucking even funnier. Uh, double Death Slicer, damage increased. That's scary because it was already a good move. And it increased the time until this disappears. Uh, it was already a good move, and now it's got a buff. Last Emperor, damage increased. That's cool. Nobody really uses that. Heat Dome Attack made each hit easier to land. That's cool. I always did love that move, but it was always... You can, I can really, like, once I hit the person, I'd hit him once, and then just kind of float away. They'd kind of wiggle out. But now, maybe I might be able to trap him. So I'm going to try to tent, try that. Um, Dead End Rain is, uh, made it easier to hit, and no pause during the attack. That might make it a viable move. That's a cool, flashy move. It just really didn't work at all. Super Vanishing Ball. Tracking improved. That has needed that since the beginning of the game. Uh, Super Vanishing Ball was a... Again, fan favorite from the first Xenoverse game, because it was a great move, tracking was fantastic, but in this game, tracking was pretty much garbage, and the amount of times I've uh, thrown one of those and just walked, waft over someone's head uh, is uncountable. Uh, and then you can see a big one here, Spirit Sword made the first part unblockable, it should have been that from the beginning, uh, that's perfect, that's how it should be, and made it imposs impossible to counter out modified every hit so it can connect easier pretty much that means is you know when you spin twice it now hits twice that move on a good character will do a bar and a half maybe of damage if it hits twice now i'm not sure because i've only tested on the mechian and my mechian's damage is not map that much uh ice cannon modified so it's easier to hit with i love ice cannon that's a fun ass move to use and it was already seemed pretty easy to hit with if you just back hit and then threw the move out but now if it's easier to hit i can't wait to see what i can do with it um maiden blast i've tested this modified it so you can the advanced out of it that's just it, this move is a hundred percent better now and it's a move that i'm gonna use a lot more often because i always loved it in the first game because it was great and this game not so much now it's viable again because some ultimates it just it continually hits you. So if you can't Z-Vanish, you gotta use your evasive. And some evasives, it just counters. So you can just you can trap people with this move now. And I'm excited about that. Uh, Symphony of Destruction. Uh, previously uh, awesome move in Xenoverse 1, as I keep saying. But in the second one, garbage. And now it says it made, made it uncounterable. Made the uncounterable time longer. So I'm not sure what that did to it. May have increased the range or something. But this the translation is very loose. But it, it, the Symphony of Destruction got a buff. Uh, Emperor's Death Beam, damage increased, and if you hit your opponent, it will send them flying. Now, this is a great, this is a, this is a update that seems to be well-rounded, because it no longer, it also, it buffed the move, but it also nerfed it. You can't get, it seems, the fact that it flies you away makes it so you can't just, like, get stuck in it if you have dodged and got one hit. But at the same time, the damage was increased, so it seemed like it made it a well, more well-rounded move. Hell Flash. Now, this one I'm excited about, because I've always loved this move. But damn, if it was hard to connect. It just never seemed to connect. And, as you can see, it says right there, damage increased. Great. Didn't really do much damage to begin with, which is kind of depressing. And it made it easier to hit with. Two things I would love that it did. Now, I've been uh, staring at this glorious, glorious gold line here. And I know you have. And you can wait for me to look at it. But uh, I'm going to skip right to it. Become Giant, which you all know is Giant Namekian. You see what it says right there? Decrease the amount of stamina that is drained after transforming. Also, improve the tracking on the Demon Mouth Blast. Nah, this is the first thing I tested out when I got off work today. And I can say that the Demon Mouth Blast... Demon Mouth Blast? <laughs> bass, put that on the screen. Uh, but anyway, the Mouth Blast is uh, tracking. The tracking was increased. I can't use, use words right now, so I said. But... Uh, I did not really notice the decreased amount of stamina. It, it really, it, here's the thing, it really did not make a, a lasting impression. It really did not decrease the amount by that much, but that's a good thing. Because we all know how broken this was in the beginning of the game. And I love this move a lot, but at the same time, if they decreased the amount of stamina drained by a lot, it would be broken again. We don't want that. It was a very broken move, and even though I love the move, I'll be the first to admit it was broken. And the fact that I really can't notice the stamina drain that much, I think is good. They made the move a little bit more usable, but not broken. But, uh, Namekian blinders off. Purification. Another huge thing to put the 
excuse me, to put at the end of this video. No stamina decrease after transformation. Decrease the amount of stamina used by dash attack. Stamina drains when you block. You no longer have a stamina drain while you're using purification, and it only decreases when you block or use the dash attack. That is a completely... That is like the one of the best uh, changes in this DLC. Like, that makes purification viable. Pyropole Pro, I'll go over that as well. Decrease the recovery frames between steps and increase the damage needed to break you out of the move. That's kind of cool. Gives you a little bit more super armor, but it decreased the recovery frames. That is, again, a well-rounded nerf. It, 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 not even a nerf, it's a buff and a nerf. It made the, it, this made it a more well-rounded move. And I've been rambling for too long, but hey, uh, uh, all these changes, I've tested out some, and they're already, I'm excited, I'm, they're already good. I haven't tested them all out, uh, I've just been messing around with purification, and if, if I could get good with purification, that's a viable move now. But I've been talking for too long, but hey, this has been the updates, this has been my uh, commentary on them. Uh, ramblings that you may enjoy. But hey, what do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. This has been the Great Break Holio. I hope you're enjoying this new update as much as I am. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Oh man, that was a long one. There was just so many moves to check out. But hey, I made a Discord server so I can, you know, communicate with my, you know, all seven fans way better. So, uh, if uh, any of you seven are watching and you want to hang out later, uh, I'll, I'll put a link to that in the description. Please? I'm so lonely. <laughs>